Well, uh, I'm, I'm Jordi Esteve from Centrix at Media, uh, a company from here, uh, near Barcelona. And uh, I talk about a uh, 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 proof of concept of point of sale. Mm? I think uh, it's normal, it's typical in the Triton conference to present a point of sale, no? Uh, each year we present a new one. Eh? So this is uh, <laughs> the point of sale of this edition. <laughs> edition. Um, I will explain about uh, what I think will be the, the POS features, uh, some concepts. Uh, I will talk about previous work, uh, the, mm, the, the goals of the, our implementation, the, the advantage and disadvantage it'll have, and, and, and a demo. Well, I think the main features of a point of sales are the quick management of sales. Eh? We must create sales very quickly eh? and edit them. And uh, the screen uh, must be very sim simple, no? Uh, the automatic creation of invoice and shipments. Mm? Uh, because uh, no, the normally, mm? but the products, for example, in a, in a point of sale, uh, are, send it, are sent at this moment, no? So uh, it's important that the shipments are created automatically. Mm. Uh, our feature is the recording of the payments, no? After the sale, you must record the payments and, and have uh, this information no? up to date. Uh, the concept of, uh, I don't know in English, uh, the cash register or payment journal, eh? when you lock, no? you for, for example, at the beginning of the day, you open no? the, the payment journal for cash, for credit card, and you record no, during the day the payments, and at uh, the end of the day, you close it. No? How do you say that? Payment journal, cash register, I don't know. All good. Yes, yes, you understand. <laughs> okay. And uh, uh, other feature is the printing of the special post devices. Mm. Well, uh, the concepts uh, in important uh, are the shops, no? Because a company can have several shops, several physical shops. Uh, the shops are related to different warehouses. The post devices, a shop can have a, a, a hardware or several hardware devices. And then each uh, post device can have payment journals, no? Or uh, cash registers different, no? In, in each one, no? For example, no? In two shops uh, in Barcelona, in London, no? have several post devices, and each post devices can record uh, payments with different kind of payment, no? Um, credit card, um, cash. <coughs> the previous work. Uh, well, uh, two years ago, in the first edition of Triton Conference, uh, was presented a, a post model, model uh, created by the, the Google Summer of Code. Um, then, Oscar Arguérez, a guy from Colombia, has worked over it, in, in it, and adapted it to the, to the last versions. Mm? Uh, in this uh, point of sale, the point of sales are different of the typical sales in Triton. Mm? The sales in the, in the sale model, eh? the sale point sale object. Uh, so uh, this gives a lot of duplication of, of code. No? For example, to compute the taxes, to compute the prices. Eh? All are uh, rated, um, and mm, and the problem is uh, the mm, the management of the the bag, no? For example, 
uh, it's very difficult uh, to maintain no, this point of sale because uh, a lot of code is duplicated. Mm. Also, it misses some features, no? for example, press list or the creation of, of the invoices or, or printing. No? Sometimes you sell something in a shop and the customer asks you for an invoice, not for a receipt, for a ticket. No? So you must do, to get the, the invoice no? right now. Uh, they don't have payment journals and only prints to the, uh, you know, the Epson devices uh, that uses the ESC POS protocol. Uh, in the, this implementation, we reuse existing models. So we reuse the same model, mm, the sales are, are the same, and also the account statement. Eh? The account statement is a model to register mo uh, movements in the, in the bank, for example. We reuse it for the uh, cash register. Also, uh, we use uh, additional models that, that are not in the, code, in the core, that product, for example, the barcode, and sell a shop. Eh? Sell a shop uh, implements the concept of shops. Yes? One small question now. Is this a plan or is this already implemented? Yes, it's implemented. Sorry. I show you eh? right now. Uh, and barcode implements the barcodes uh, for products. Mm? Um, the advantage is few line of codes because uh, it only defines uh, the new the, uh, POS device and only uh, a new view and some wizards. Mm? Use the same logic as the core models no? for computing the taxes and price lists. And another important thing is that if you implement some additional models, for example, mm? you implement a solid discount model for um, recording discounts in sales, you can use in your uh, post model, no? because the sales are the same. No? For example, uh, these models, um, I think they are not implemented, right? they are in the kitchen, no? in the oven, uh, for product pack. A product pack is a model, then you can define a product that is composite of a pack, a, a kit, no, a list of other products. No? For example, uh, a PC computer has a keyboard, a mouse, no? a PC tower, a, a screen, and you uh, sell a, a PC, and the, um, the set expands this PC product to the, the four components. Uh, or party risk, for example, uh, if you have a, a check, no? if you don't want to sell to a client uh, because they have a, a risk, no? Uh, if you have sales separately from, from sales and from post, it's complicated, no? And you can check, no, the, the risk, or the commercial risk, no, of the party uh, in the same way. Well, well the disadvantage is they uh, created a lot of that, well, data, no? Because each sale in the post sales creates one or two invoices, and one or two shipments, eh? like the same model eh? in the core. Hmm? And normally it creates one invoice, but if you, I don't know if you know, uh, if you, for example, create a sale with a positive quantities eh, in each uh, sale line and negative quantities, uh, Triton creates uh, two invoices, no? Uh, one normal invoice for the positive and a refund invoice for the negative. Mm? And the same for shipments, no? Normal shipments or return shipments. And the other disadvantage, mm, if we solve it, uh, that it needs direct access to the Triton server. Eh? It doesn't work offline. Well, it, you can get, it, get them from Bitbucket. Mm? And I will uh, show you a demo. Well, mm -mm -mm. in the in the sales configuration, you have uh, shops, no? Let's 
example, here I defined two shops, no? One in Barcelona, another in London. Hmm? Uh, and you can put uh, some information, for example, the default uh, warehouse, the default sequence, you know, to, mm, to give the numbers, the reference of the sales, you know, etc. Uh, this model uh, is sell shop and will be useful <coughs> not only for uh, POS uh, sales, also for, for example, for e-commerce eh, sales because uh, e-commerce no, can give another uh, sequence or can use another warehouse, no, for example, and different methods for sale and for shipment. Then you can define post devices. For example, I have defined here two devices in the Barcelona shop and two devices in London shop. A device has a, a name, a number, eh? what do you want? It belongs to a shop. And you can define uh, the journals. This is um, a common statement journals. The journals is the, the type of payments you can use. Hmm? For example, in this device, you can use cash and credit card. And the default one is cash, no? because the more useful, the more use it, uh, payments is cash, no? and credit card, uh, for example. Uh, they have also information, yeah? I think this could be put in another model, about uh, EXPOS, um, e EST POS uh, protocol to print to Epson printers. Mm? Mm, uh, si, uh, they are um, post devices, no? hardware devices that use that, but another that, that doesn't use. So it should be put in another model. No? Printer ports, display port, for example, eh? and to test. Well, and then I define, for example, uh, statement journals, no? type of payments in cash or credit card eh? in each of the devices. Eh? Will be the same or, or you could um, share no, the same, no, the cash, for example, uh, to the same devices, or, or each device has a different account journal, a statement journal. Well, uh, then you can configure the, the users no, to, to work in different shops and to have a, a default shop and post device. No? When the people, no, the, the user start at, at the morning to sell in a in a shop, in a device, eh? you can change. Eh? If you want, in the user preference, also you, the user can change. No? And we'll go to the sales. Mm -hmm. We'll create a new sale. This is the, the screen for the sales. The object eh? behind is the same eh, that the, the normal sales, but it's simplified. Mm? There, are, there are a lot, a lot of room for the sale lines. Mm? For example, a tube, t-shirt, mm? you know, we have <laughs> Very cheap, and all the profits will go to the Titan Foundation. <laughs> End of the uh, advertisement. <laughs> and, well, hmm? tool shears, for example. With the, only the keyboard, eh, you can use it. Also, you can use a, a scan, a, a code scanner. So, if you configure the code scanner to to give a return carriage, no, uh, at the end, it it uh, uh, codifies no, the information quickly. So, if you use the barcode scanner in the product uh, column, yes. it it searches for the for that product and. Yes. 
and generate the line. Yes, yes. You can search for the uh, code scanner, uh, the, the code bar, the code of the product, or the name of the product. So the, the search function is very fine. Yeah. What about the rebates on the on the single payment lines? So now and then you go to a shop and say, well, yeah, look, this product's not really good, and they say, okay, I give you twenty percent off. Yes, a rebate is comes, no? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's not implemented because uh, the, sell, the normal sales in the core module don't have discounts also. Okay. But if you now uh, we have implemented no, the sale discount module, so uh, you must only add here a new field eh, to, to introduce the, the discount. Mm -hmm. The child is found using Triton Spain bit bucket? I don't remember. Yes. 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 In Triton of Spain bit bucket. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you can also can introduce the products uh, from these buttons. There's two, two ways to introduce. Hmm? <coughs> You can add subtotals, for example, uh, uh, ah, excuse me, the, ah, and by default, it shows the prices with taxes included. Control, control, take your ship, that was on the menu. On the menu. Ah, yes, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. hmm? Uh, now the the prices you can uh, change no uh, is the price, the base price price the base price but it, it shows you the the prices with the taxes included. Ah, here we, uh, I have definite no taxes eh? because um, it's the same but uh, normally uh, you you will see that increase it and it codifies the information automatically. You have the totals here the paid amount and the residual no, amount. Here you have the two tabs for the payments and the invoices created. Uh, it will be, uh, the, the shipments is not showed because I think it's not important. Eh? In the normal shops, the, all the things, all the products, no, the customer are, are mm, carried no, out at the same moment. <coughs> Well, we'll pay, for example. You can choose eh? cash, credit card, because I configure uh, these two uh, con statements, no? uh, con statement journals for this uh, post device. I will pay. But it says that uh, you must open uh, a, uh, a draft statement, eh? and there is nothing. So I open. Uh, and you do that each day, uh, Yogi? Each yeah. day. It depends on the shop. Each yeah. day, each week, no? It depends. For the morning, for the evening. It's up to you. Uh, statements. A new statement from uh, Star Balance, for example, zero euros. And zero euros. So I can pay. Now I can pay with credit card. You can do uh, total payments or partial payments. No? For example, you can pay 50 euros in credit card <coughs> and the rest eh, in cash, for example. Yes. <laughs> if you want, but you want to recycle. Uh, I guess you make a ah. ah, a problem. I have uh, forgotten to configure the because I have created a new database this morning. I then configure the financial. Ah. Uh, 
because oh it's a pity I might create a, a fiscal uh, yeah. year and periods and account uh, <laughs> sequences yeah, I forgotten yeah. so he haven't created invoices huh? so I, I was that for each payment method you have available in your shop you need to create a statement and open it each day, maybe week or whatever the shop decides. Mm -hmm. So for each payment method, individually. Yes. yes. This is the normal behavior because the, the people want to know all the moments. Opening opening the, the cash drawer uh, yes. in Spain, mm -hmm. it says, open, 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 the, open, open the cash drawer. Opening the cash drawer, it says yes. here. So. And for credit card also. Mm -hmm. Uh, it could, if you think it's um, a happy task, um, uh, an option is to make a wizard that automatically opens all the driver's uh, timer of uh, specific devices. Okay. Well, the ticket, I show you the ticket, for example, no? The ticket from the Barcelona shop, you know, the things you you buy, the totals, the different payments you have done, and the, the paid and the residual. <coughs> <coughs> For example, I want to pay uh, cash, and I have uh, a note of 50 euros. I pay more, no? Now it shows the, the change not to give to the customer. Hmm? Okay. I pay, then I close the, the, no, the payment, create the invoices, and case the signals. Eh? I cannot show you because I have not configured the, the account in this company. Um, well, you can see, for example, the, share, the sales in the sale menu normal. Hmm? Here, we'll say we we'll see the same, but the previous one. The invoices and the shipments. Eh? And I think it's all. Mm. When you close, I, re I refresh mm? the statement I have opened it before, and you can see no? the, the payments that have been stored no? in this uh, account statement. And when you validate and confirm the, the, the statement, it auto automatically pays the, the invoices and closes the sales. Mm? Mm. There are some special cases that, mm, that, because here, when it's create, uh, the invoice is created, yeah, all the payments are related to the, the invoice. Yeah, in this, in this here. But there are special cases, for example, if you sell um, positive, negative, and, neg and negative quantity, uh, quantities, no? uh, because uh, a customer returns you a product, uh, it creates to invoices, no? a normal and a refund, and mm, the closing the statement, it doesn't not automatically close, uh, conciliate the, all the two invoices and close. So they are created a wizard to reconcile two sales, two sales, three OI sales. So, um, you must uh, each a week, once a month, eh? filter the cells that are not in the done state, and you can reconcile the sales, well, the payments of the sale with the invoices of the sale, and automatically the invoices are paid and the, all the sales are closed. Gone. By the way, there was a, a wizard there that where you click the wizard 
Yes. That was return, return sale. No, this is a uh, is in the core of a uh, core of title. It's to create a a devotion, a record. I see that you display the price tax credit. Yes. How do you manage the round issue? Just in the excuse me for sec. Here. Uh, doesn't always work. <laughs> And we, to, you, you can uh, not always have the unit price and the price tax included. Uh, correct. <laughs> Why? The, uh, because if you don't have tax VAT of 10%, <laughs> yeah, but uh, with uh, uh, numbers more uh, less easy, uh, you have rounding issue because your unit price. Uh, you have to, to display the price with two decimal and you run it. So uh, yeah, you can make you cannot make the reverse operation. So and no. No, no, I, you I, I are summing different stuff. So I don't see how it works with the No, it's the same uh, computation that like in the I think in the sale or in the invoice because yeah. I compute from the base price without taxes, the price yeah. with taxes. So, but, but what the problem is from here to here. Of your price tax included doesn't match the sum, the 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 the, 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 the sum I, of the same. I think the problem is is with the unit price with taxes included, not with the amount with taxes. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, it's because you show the unit price tax included the, on the, the on the list. And it could be the unit price not with tax the total of the sale. The unit price, the unit price with tax included. Yes. Uh, it could be uh, maybe nineteen ninety nine. Yes. Uh, while the unit price is twenty, uh, and when you multiply the unit price for uh, the quantity, the amount with tax is different than when you multiply the unit price for the quantity and then apply the the tax. Yes. So so the this this multiplied this by two uh, gives a different amount than unit price multiplied by two and applying the taxes then. Yes. So uh, well, there's a problem. Mm. <laughs> there are also the, uh, the lines, yes. the sum of the lines. I, I think uh, I think when you when you compute the taxes. You should use the uh, without tax sum of all the lines on which the tax is applicable and then compute the tax. That's it? Uh, it's how the same works yeah. in Python. Yeah. But I think for us, it should not work like that. You, you work with tax included, and indeed you compute what was the unit price back, back one. And uh, so that's why I think. Uh, Using direct the sale object, it's probably not the but, but the best this, idea. But this feature maybe would be needed in sales also, because yes, in, in some case, in but some for me, the sales of Python is for in some way B two B business mm -hmm. and uh, just works uh, yeah, tax excluded. Yeah, yeah. And if we have, we need to have another. Objects. Yes, uh, yes, but, but I've had uh, many cases of B2B business with uh, points of good. sale. Mm -hmm. Typically, the, uh, the vendor of, uh, of uh, Tinto uh, Peinture uh, uh, Colors is someone who sells uh, pots of, of uh, Paint. colors, paints, mm -hmm. and uh, well, most of his uh, business is with professionals. Sometimes there is someone who comes to the uh, uh, to the warehouse and, and get uh, some uh, something, and he needs uh, something simpler, just just yeah. a view which is simpler than. Yeah, but it, it really depends on just what price does it display? Uh, is uh, it pr price tax included or not? I think we should we should show the same at the in the sale uh, module and and work on the uh, uh, tax not included uh, sums like in the sale module. And it would be very useful for many people because even the uh, uh, in B two C customers can see the, uh, the the prices not included. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, you 
Yeah. Can you imagine a post price exclusive and based it on sale order with price rewards and you need also another post for tax included. Hmm? Yeah, I want to see what hang in there because um, usually in many cases you know, the tax sites are not dependent only on the B2C but on the product. For instance, in, in, uh, in many countries in Europe, when I buy a horse, I have to pay 19% VAT. If I buy a gun I will pay 7 And these are rules from the fiscal authorities, so they are product dependent. So when I get an invoice, could do it the way that you simply take the entire sum, add another product item, call it VAT, for instance, and then take the sum. But you have to show it per product. So, so you need to have some kind of solution. Yeah, but the tax on each layer, uh, can show that the tax are defined on each layer. Yeah, and then they come from the product definition. Yes, yeah. But you have to have the final line that you have the entire sum of only the VAT. Yeah. Uh, here you get the tax, but uh, on the invoice you have the, you have the extra field. You get the amount of each different kind of tax. Okay. <coughs> what I missed is uh, where you process the, the full sale. Process? No, when the, you pay and you mm, completely pay the, the for sale, it automatically processes it. It's, it but do you have to wait? Until it's processed, or is no, it no, no. It's automatically. It's in at, at the moment. Yeah, but is the, the screen frozen when you process, or well, a screen frozen? Uh, so no. So mean, you have to have uh, Triton has to create an invoice, has to create a shipment, yes. uh, has to, uh, to 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 dump the shipment, to open the invoice. Is it all happening uh, real time in in front of your face? Uh, no, but it depends on the machine, no. Uh, but <laughs> of the server. Mm, in my uh, uh, PC is very old, and um, maybe a half second. Is it 20 lines? <laughs> then maybe mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. must wait. Uh, maybe uh, is the uh, the time is mm, uh, the more time is for print the ticket, no? That's safe. Uh, I think the, the problem for performance is because you create shipment and invoice. Yes. You don't need to create the shipment and the invoice. I don't. What? You I don't ship anything. You you just have to register that the product dis disappears from your warehouse, so it, it's gone. But you don't have the needs to have a, a, no, a, a document for that. No. You already have your. It yeah, depends, depends on the kind of business. If you buy, for example, something at IKEA, you have a cash register as well where you pay, and then you get your delivery note, you go to a different place, show it, and then they get you the goods. Yeah, but it should be optional. It's yeah. yeah. Okay. So next process yeah, is your workflow, but by default, mm -hmm. you should do the. Uh, yes, uh, and for example, uh, in IKEA, uh, some products you carry yourself, but others are very big. And you contract a, no, a carrier uh, company, no? So, uh, <coughs> then it's a special case, and you must put uh, some flag, no, to don't confirm, don't real, uh, don't don the the shipments, no? Because some products are carried by you, and other by the carrier company. Mm -hmm. It's a special case. Yeah, but I think we have done quite a similar work on this, and the way we address the problem was. Uh, in, when you click on pay, it just moves this record to a transient state, and then it you leaves the it there. Of the, the, the sale? Uh, this POS sale object, it moves into a transient state where it's yet to be processed. And a cron in parallel processes this, so it does everything. You don't have to reinvent all the shipping yeah. and invoicing, but it gets done asynchronously, so your screen is not frozen. You move on to the next order. And the system does it in parallel. Yeah. Yes, yes. Ah, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Jody, uh, what is your opinion about uh, usability? Because um, it's good to see the model and uh, the use in Triton of a, of a post sale. But um, do you think um, it is uh, good to, to improve uh, the Triton user interface to have <coughs> a 
kind of uh, post view, which is uh, working in a different uh, way, like uh, <coughs> not having a menu, not uh, having this and that, having bigger numbers, or having some kind of keypad uh, for touch screen. What do you think uh, it's better to, to have uh, just uh, the data model in Triton and uh, make a uh, separate client? Uh, it depends, no, of the business. Uh, for a, a shop, uh, for a shop that uh, sells uh, products with a barcode a scanner, it's. I think it's okay. No, mm. it's enough. Uh, I have uh, shown you. It's enough. No, but if you have, uh, for example, a, a restaurant, no, or a, or a bar, no, uh, no, they use. No, if you have a little catalog of products. It's better to have a picture, an image in each product or category product and use a, a tactile uh, screen and then this doesn't sweet for you. Uh, I think, and it, this is uh, one thing where we, we, uh, we will work in the future is to create a separate high uh, no a GTK, GTK client like the Google Summer of Code, no? Uh, I think it's better to create, uh, like the SAO, no? The CAO, uh, a version in, in HTML, HTML5, and use, um, for example, local storage to store the sales, and if you can work offline, no? If you don't have a connection to the server, you can go to the cells and then synchronize to the server. So I think you must mm, the the improvements of the usability. I think it's better to to go to a specific HTML client. What do you think? I think so too. I'm not sure about uh, having a Triton post, but I guess uh, Sharon will show us uh, some uh, some yeah. nice results. So. Uh, but can I just quickly talk about the can I use this too? Uh, ah, okay, it would okay. be possible to address it. Uh, <laughs> you are just fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to address it uh, similar to the the discount issue by adding more rounding. So maybe you you some somehow introduce the unit price with taxes, and then calculate with more digits the unit price without taxes in order to make everything fit? Yeah. We need infinite <coughs> digits to be sure that it always works. No, there is a solution. No. Um, there is a solution. It's called, um, you can uh, find it on the internet, uh, just on our table, on the office table. It's in show on the table. It is uh, weighted. Uh, you, you, you calculate some um, uh, differences between uh, each, each rounding and the rounding which is the most worse. Uh, you just add one a penny and then uh, the sum is correct. Mm -hmm. But the line is not correct. Mm -hmm. That's not uh, important. Mm -hmm. You have to always take a look on, uh, on the sum. If it's okay. Yeah, yeah, but uh, of course, uh, indeed, we did that three or four, four years ago for a customer. Yeah. Uh, indeed, we create a, an object that is like a sale, but world impacts included. And is it annoying? Yeah, and then <laughs> we generate the invoice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we generate the invoice, uh, so and we put fix, uh, defined taxes. The, the we didn't let Triton computing the taxes, the unit price and stuff like that. We put all the values and for the rounding issue, we put one cent to one line to fit correctly. And it's more complicated than just one cent. Sometimes you have to add. One cent to one line and uh, uh, remove one to another because the are are different and so on. It's a little bit complicated, but it's doable. But you cannot rely on the sale because sale computes always from unit price. So it doesn't compute the other way with your solution. So Can you use it just in the, in the inverse report too? 
you have uh, in your accounting, you have a uh, total, and in your invoice report, you have just uh, one penny difference. Not mm -hmm. a big problem. Because I'm not uh, sure that you can give a ticket to your customer that is different of what you book in your account. In Germany, as far as I know, it's no regulation for this. There is really no law or something like this. It must be um, just done as you like. It's so not regulated. Well, you can show the results of authorities who want to know how you calculate it and must be right and your calculations too as well as you import. The problem is what is right in this case. That's the problem. No, yeah, yeah, you yeah. request it on a, on a professional uh, user group no. in, in, in the yes. report, but it's um, not yeah, yeah. the It's not about the contribution, <laughs> it's about showing always the same yeah. amounts. Yeah. Okay. To your customer and on the invoice and in your accounting and your, in your tax report and I think you are Yeah. Is there a plan to make this a, a, a four modules? Mm, well. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <Yeah. laughs> Maybe. What do you think about uh, out, out I, say my, my concern. I think it should not create shipment, it should not create invoice. Just on request. Yeah, and on okay, but it's an idea to put it in code review, so at, at least we can. Uh, yes, but before we must write a blueprint. No? <laughs> 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 Already there. Mm. Okay. Yes, maybe. You showed the blueprint here. <laughs> 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 okay.